Welcome back to the channel this week. My name is Priscilla. I'm a Nigerian women's wear designer based in the UK. In this video, I'm going to be sharing really easy hacks that will save you both time money and a lot of stress some of this i picked up from social media one i learned from my husband and a few others i just sort of like figured out with time so if you'd like to find out these hacks make sure to keep on watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it if you know any other sewing hacks any other diy hacks that would just make a huge difference in the full creative process make sure to comment them down below so we all learn and thrive together so without further ado let's get straight into this video The first hack I'm going to be showing you guys is one that will help you achieve straight seams, especially if you are new to using a sewing machine or you're not yet confident with stitching. So this I picked up from when I was in fashion school and what our tutor told us was to get a nice tape and align it with the line of seam allowance that you normally work with. So I normally use a centimeter. So I just marked that on my machine because sewing machines usually come with like a centimeter, half an inch, one inch, so on and so forth. And once you just align the edge of your garment to the edge of the tape, you would end up with a straighter seam compared to if you didn't have that there. Now, the second hack is one that I picked up from TikTok, actually. So my machine does not come with a second thread stand and I wanted to try out a twin needle. So what I did was I grabbed a chopstick. You can use any slim wooden stick you have. And then I placed that at the back of my machine and essentially just taped it down. Now, I want to tape it down in such a way that the tape does not interrupt the wheel that spins on the side and is far enough from the first thread on the left hand side. So once you place that thread there, you can just essentially thread your machine the same way and thread your twin needle if you are looking to do that. This is just a simple way to add a second stand to your machine if your machine does not come with a second stand to accommodate a second thread. Hack number three is using twin needles. Oh my God, I did not even know these existed until a couple of weeks ago. And they are great for stretch fabric, especially for finishing the hems of stretch fabrics. So it's essentially a needle that has two heads like this, and then you just thread it with a second thread like I attached earlier on on the back and when you get to the bottom where your needles are you just put one thread to through one needle the second thread to the other needle and it actually stitches just fine. I went ahead to test it out on some stretchy jersey just to see if my machine would be able to handle the needle if I had threaded it correctly and to use it you just set your machine on a normal straight stitch and it actually works works like wonders will never end you essentially just sew normally and what happens is you have two rows of stitches on the front and then on the back of the seam you have a zigzag stitch because the way it works is the bobbing picks up thread to one needle and then to the other needle and vice versa which is why it has a zigzag stitch on the bottom Hack number four is one that you will need if you're someone who uses slim elastic bands often. So you know the space that it's in your footer, you can actually pass your elastic band through that space and then pull it out from the other end at the back. And when you put your fabric and stitch your elastic onto your fabric and just pull it slightly, this allows you to evenly spread out the elastic band across your fabric so when you're done stitching you don't have one side that is slightly more elasticated than the other side but everything is nice and evenly spread across the seam the next hack which is hack number five is one that would help you create box corners so this is the corners that you see at the bottom of tote bags toiletry bags or even like a cool detail on a garment so i've stitched up the sides of this piece like so and to create the box corner you essentially need to fold the bottom in this direction to have a pointed edge like this and then you can do this by hand but you can use a ruler for a straighter seam and just draw 
draw a line that goes from one side to the other side through that side seam there. You need to do this for both sides of your bag or your tote or whatever piece that you want to add this feature to. And essentially you just sew along this line that you drew earlier on and then you go back in and cut out the excess from that point like so. Do this for your left and for your right hand side turn the piece inside out you can give it a nice press if you want a sharper corner or a neater finish and there you have it you have your box corner that would immediately just give your piece like a little bit of definition if you be doing this with a tote bag you can also fuse your fabric so it actually has like structure and it can stand once you put it on its base Hack number six is really, really relevant if you're someone who works with garments that has secular hems or secular bottoms. Now, if you have the hem of a skirt or a dress that is secular and you hang it overnight before you fold and sew that hem, you will find it a whole lot easier because gravity would gradually pull the grain of the fabric naturally towards the bottom. And once you then pick it up the next day to fold and to sew it, it will just allow for a lot easier and neater sewing down the line. Now the last hack I'm going to be showing you guys is one I shared in my previous video which is how to turn slim tunnels inside out. So say you have a shoulder strap, a back strap, a corset boning tunnel, whatever thing that you need your strap for. Once you've stitched it up the side like so, it's really difficult to do by hand. So this I actually learned from my husband. He taught me this method and I use it from then. So you get a safety pin and you attach it to a ribbon, whatever ribbon you have at home, preferably something slim. And once you've attached it on one end like this, you pass the safety pin and the ribbon attached through that tunnel until you reach the other side. And then when you arrive at the other side, you remove your safety pin and then you would need to stitch down that side close. So just do like a normal straight stitch in such a way that is nice and secure. You take this off, trim off the excess ribbon on this end so you don't have a lot of bulk at that end and you just need to pull the ribbon out and this would force the tunnel to turn inside out. Since I found this technique, I actually don't even bother trying to turn tubes inside out with my own hand. It just saves me a whole lot of time when I have to create slim straps. So those are all of the hacks for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. It was a lot of fun to create. If you know any other hacks that we should be aware of, that you've tried, you've learned, someone else has taught you, that you've spotted on social media, make sure to share in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you guys would like me to do a part two where I share even more hacks or sewing DIY tricks that I know that would really, really go a long way to ease the creative process. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up. If you try any of these hacks, feel free to tag me on social media at Kim Dave Designs. And until my next video, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening wherever you are. Bye.